Look at those crystals. That's really, really interesting. I was hoping that we might find a box where he put all his good stuff. This might be it. Who's that? Jerry Rice. Joe Montana. That's, that's a nice combo right there. Let's just see what else we got here. Smoke Heat. Nolan Ryan. That says 40 bucks on it. What does that say? Does that say $600? It does pull back, but it doesn't... Welcome to another episode. We are about to get started on this box right here. You want to come with me and check out what we find? I haven't looked in it yet. All these boxes right here come out of a locker that I bought recently that we're calling the Plumber Collector. Hey, if you're new to the channel, that's what we do here. We buy storage lockers at the auctions, just like you saw on TV, most likely. I mean, come on, everyone's seen Storage Wars, right? But we do it for real. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. We show you everything because we want you to know what it's like and we want you to come along with us for the adventure. This particular locker, I paid 1200 bucks for it and it's been great. If you haven't been watching the earlier videos, check them out. I've got a playlist started called The Plumber Collector. You can see all the episodes from start to finish. This is probably like episode, um, I don't know, seven, eight. I don't even know right now. I'm just filming and going through stuff and having a great time. So why don't we keep going? Yeah, let's get started on that box right there. Come on. All right, we have found tens of thousands of trading cards already, sports cards. And this appears to be more. Wow, stacked too high too. See that? It's like a row on top and there's a row on the bottom. All right, not my cup of tea, these baseball cards. I prefer to find like magic cards or okay but you know what this i have everything i found so far looks pretty common this does not look common right here i was hoping that we might find a box where he put all his good stuff this might be it this might be it let's look at the rest of this Huh, young Jedi. Young Jedi, huh. Car oh, it says right there, collectible card game. Okay, there's another first. What the heck? This one's, this one's taped shut. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my uh, serious tone. When things get really interesting. Um, oh, yes. It says Marvel cards on there. There it is. We had a huge lot of Marvel cards. We auctioned it off recently. It's a big binder. Full of them. This is a DC, the, those two hologram DC cards. But, um, that's Marvel. It's good. And I say this good because, um, I know a lot of our viewers are into the Marvel trading cards. Most of what I find goes right on to new owners. This is football, football cards. Nice, nice. Who's that? Jerry Rice. Joe Montana. That's, that's a nice combo right there. Another combo. Young to Rice. Yeah. Got some good stuff here. Hockey cards. I did find a few hockey cards. But I also found some boxes that are mismarked too. So let's see what we got because you never know. This is not hockey. Harley Davidson. That's Harley Davidson. What's this? There's hockey. This guy wasn't the most organized guy in the world. There's hockey. I see down here hockey. Okay, so for some reason he's got some Harley Davidsons mixed in. Power to him. What does this say? Basketball. Good cards to keep. Oh, we got another one of these thick cases here. That's baseball. Mark Blair. What's he talking about? Is that basketball? See what I mean? It's all baseball. Where are these turned? So many questions. So few answers. I gotta fill in the blanks for myself. And I don't always have the right answers, so... Yeah. 
I don't this is, okay, baseball right there. Oh, that is okay, jeez, that looked like a K. I don't know. I'm just not reading. Baseball got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And if you're new to the channel, I'm wrong often. <laughs> 93 Ultra Fleer complete. One to three hundred. We'll take his word for it. Okay. I don't want to get him out of order. Football cards, Raiders. Yeah. There's a couple in the thick things here. Marcus Allen. Howie Long. Allen Goldstein. That looks old. Wait a sec. That looks really old. This is the oldest card I found. Most of everything I found has been from the 90s. There may be a few 80s. I've not found anything from the 70s. In fact, I. I rarely find anything from the 70s, ever. But this one looks older. The dates it has on his play there say 1960 and 1961. The fact that it's a football card might mean that it's even worth even more than a baseball card of that era because it's just one of the many collectors of football cards or so I understand. Check it out, wood box. It's Corbell, it's probably like a little champagne box. Not anymore. It's a Magneto. Is this marble cards? Yep. I don't know if they're in order either. So I don't really want to pull them out. But there's some marble cards. That's that's pretty good. We'll, we'll include those probably in an upcoming auction. Okay, what's this? Giant size X-Men. That's a really expensive comic book. 1984. The card is from 1984. The comic book is worth some dough. Juggernaut. There's Thanos. It looks cool. Oh, there's an old Star Wars card. Chewbacca. That's the original series here. Nope. Return of the Jedi. Um, 83. Sabretooth. It's a $4 card. There's the Hulk. Cool. This is, this is really fun. This is by far the most ca uh, cards I've ever found in a single locker. I mean, I don't think I've really found that many cards ever. If I find a couple boxes, or maybe four or five boxes, I think I've hit a huge collection. But this this collection dwarfs anything I've ever found. I mean, like this one box here is probably twice as many as I've ever found. Ever, ever, ever. More baseball. Commons. Alright, here's the last one to get through in here. And then we're going to go back to that, that box that looks super good. And then we have another one I think that's sealed. Okay, here's another one of those Pogs. Basketball cards. That looks a little older. That's 80s, right? It's cool. This one here was sealed, so let's cut that open. See what we got. Okay. Oh, what? What? Serious? This sitting right there. Okay, now this this can't be. When I first saw this, I thought, okay. Class rings, those are almost always 10k. But yeah, maybe these aren't. These are souvenirs, A's. Nah, that can't be gold. Nah, can you see where it's cracked? It's a lighter metal inside, so even if it's gold, it's gold plated. Bomber, that got me really excited for a second. Dang, that would have been nice if that was gold. What do we got going on here, though? Digital replays? Oh, here's some wrestling cards right here. Someone told me to be on the lookout for the wrestling cards because this is uh, worth some money. Could be worth some money. What's the year? Well, no year. Huh. All right. I 
Twenty. Okay. Judas Priest. It's random. Okay. Some more random stuff in here. There's an A's pin. Chip shot playoff NFL. Marcus Allen. It's like some pogs. Okay. Okay, these are these are interesting. A little different, huh? $3.99. $3.99. Okay, now we got some something, something, something. What we got here? Graded nine. Um Rodney Pete. Boomer Sison. Okay, these I've never found anything graded either. The grading, I don't know if that's a legit grading or not though. What's this? What is this? There's like a fabric in there. Is that game use swatches? That's part of his uniform. What the heck? Really? How strange. The LeBrons? All business LeBron? That is silliness. So we got a lot of stuff in these blue. Look at this. Yao Ming. Alex Rodriguez. Shaquille. Marcus Allen. That looks old too. It's got to be from the 80s though, right? 83. Dan Marino. Who's that? Duke. Nick Van Exel. Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, this is really good, right? I think this is good. This is looking like some good stuff right here. Man, we're gonna be we're gonna be auctioning stuff off for like a year out of this locker. This is, you're gonna be seeing this stuff go on our auction block for many, many, many moons. Okay, that one was taped shut, so don't get rid of it's good. I don't know what that says. Keep. Alright, I think I will. I think I will. Alright, now let's go back to this box here. Oh man, this looks good. These are in some fat cases. But at the same time, look at that, it's two bucks. Cowboys, Michael Irvin. So I think a graded one like this is going to be better to find, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see what else we got here. Smoke Heat, Nolan Ryan. That says 40 bucks on it. Jim Kelly. 10 bucks on that one. Okay. Mike Piazza, $20. $30. Thirty on that one. It doesn't mean that's what it's worth. It just means that's what they were priced at at some point in the history. Juan Gonzalez, fifty bucks. What does that say? Does that say six hundred dollars? Tony Gwynn, Padres. Does that say six hundred on it? All right, let me stop the video right there just for a sec. Okay, check this out. I brought this home because I was like, does that really say 600? What do you guys think? I brought this home and I was showing Jana some of the stuff I pulled out. I only brought home like four, five cards. And I was like, I think this says 600. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh no, that says $6. <laughs> what am I thinking? It's $6. I'm like, well, some of them said 30 and 40. So I didn't know, but it said six. Does that say six or 600? Okay, but now watch this. Here's what I find on eBay. Look at these comps. Of course, all the comps, everything that's selling is graded, but look at the prices. So maybe this card was $600 because when he bought it, prices may have been a little bit higher. So even though it was not graded, maybe it was. Maybe he did pay 600 or someone paid 600. 
Okay, I've been saying for a long time, like, show me a baseball card that I find in a locker that's worth some money, and then I'll be a believer in baseball cards. Is this the one? Come on, let me be this. Let me be a believer. Let let this be the one. I I have to get it graded. From what I understand, it costs forty five dollars to get a card graded. And uh, well, if it's six hundred dollars, yeah, that's gonna be worth it. I don't know if this one's gonna be. That looks pretty decent. I mean, look at the edges. It looks all right. I know this is not the greatest camera, but um. I'm going to have to keep you updated on this because we're going to have to do some work on this and look into it a little bit further. And I'm going to take a closer look at those other cards in there as well. All right, back to the video. Okay. $35? $18? I, I don't know, guys. I'm just saying this is the price at some point. $50? Me likey. This is good. This is good. This is the nicest of all the cards I've found so far. Let's hope we find more boxes like this, but I have a feeling this might be the cream of the crop right here. Might be there's Star Wars here. Warriors of Virtue. What the heck? Okay, there's some kind of wrestling. Some more Marvel stuff here. Man, look at all this stuff. It's just some poly bags. 49ers team set. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. This would be like a whole video just going through this box. I don't. I don't know if I should be spending so much time on it, but I get the feeling that this is a really good box. Alright, next box. Oh, uh, real quick though, this box right here, that is the way most of the cards we've been finding are stored. Uh, like that, like just packed into that box right there. Um, most of them loose, but organized that way, but loose cards, like not in sleeves and such. I would, so far I would say the tape boxes definitely have been holding the better stuff I don't know if that's always true but so far it's been more like uh, collectible type stuff that's neat not sure what that's for okay. team set again that's cool Some game book from the Oakland A's, 1981. Cellophane tape, huh? Oh, well, it's cellophane tape. <laughs> Old. That's another in really interesting looking box. Oh, wow, look at this. Old soap, fixed vapor rub. This is old, right? Old Rolaids, bandages, look at that. Huh, very cool. Oh. Handy Andy. Better plumbers use. Oh, look at that. All kinds of little parts. Center fire cartridges, huh? It's an old ammo box. I think these might be collectible as well. You know, if you have like an old rifle and you have it like in a display or something, an old ammo box like that next to it would be so cool. Okay, another valve. What is this? Oh, this is an old bottle. Coors Light. Alright, got some metal here. Sniff out your butts here. <laughs> oh, snuff out your butts here. <laughs> butt sniffer would have been funnier, but the butt snuffer, that is, that's pretty cool. That's an old piece right here. We got a lot of old pieces in here. Magna Helic gauge. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait a sec. What's this? Huh.
I don't think that's anything too crazy, but some nice necklaces there and a bottle topper. Huh. Oakland Raiders. It's a license plate made into a clock. Classy. That's how Raider fans like it. Nice and classy. A little piece of a railroad. Timmy Tiger in the music box. Oh, it did pull out, but it didn't. Not all the way. It does pull back, but it doesn't. Oh, that's a good one. He's a little. He's seen better days. Timmy Tiger. Pretty cool. Oh, here's another one of these, huh? Dan Marino. I'll put that in the car. The one we found from Steve Young, I looked it up. It sells for like 30 bucks or something like that on eBay. Maybe Dan Marino's good too. We got something right here that's heavy. Oh, oh, that's why it's so heavy. Look at that. Look at those crystals. That's really, really interesting. Hmm, pretty. Yeah, look at that piece. I think it needs to be cleaned. It's like really dusty on top. I think if it's cleaned off. It would really shine really well. This guy really collected some of the coolest stuff, didn't he? I'm digging it. Next box. This one's not too heavy, unlike the other ones. Oh, I had a feeling. And that's what it is. Check it out. More Hot Wheels. Tons. Ooh, this is a mystery right here. That one's a mystery. 65 Mustang. Pontiac GTO. Very cool. Yeah, so look at that. Five, it's multiple sets. Got a lot of those, huh? And then just tons more. Oh boy. Okay, we're not going to go through these too carefully, okay? Because um, I've seen my share of cards for one day, quite frankly, quite, quite honestly. I just not that interested, really. I like finding baseball cards because. I know it makes other people excited when we sell it to them for great deals, but me personally, I don't really, I don't really get that all interested, but hang on a sec. There's some other stuff here. Okay. Bone Bash. Oh, Queen Strike. Judas Priest. Cardboard Vampires. Shoreline Amph Amphitheater. That's cool. Concert poster. Not in the greatest shape, but wow, look at this. 49ers. Miss Silicon Valley. <laughs> 1999. I didn't even know there was such a thing. More cards. This is good card. Football. Who knows what it is. Alright, well that was... I thought there was a little something different. Ah, oh, there's a sealed pack of Tops 2006. Sealed. That's kind of interesting. Okay guys, there's a box right here on the bottom. I'm going to pull that out off camera of course because it's gonna be very awkward getting in there I'm gonna get that out and we're gonna go through it it's got clothing I can already see inside it's got clothing we've already found some vintage concert shirts um, and we love those those sell really well so I'm hoping to find more let's go through that right now all right hmm <laughs> look at that Indiana Jones that's funny Da, 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 da. You know what? This one is pretty gross, too. I would put that on for you. It's like stained up with God knows what, and it's really dusty. It's really dusty. I'll put that aside. You decide on that later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Just the vests. Old sweatshirts. Socks, gross. Socks, underwear, no thank you. Don't deal in dirty underwear. 
Oh, wow, that one's... This is the, uh, his summer pants, I would assume, because he got the nice ventilation right there. Okay, Raiders. Raiders. Team Apparel. That's a good one. This is not a good box. This is not like the other box. The stuff in the other box, some of it was thrashed too, but it was old concert shirts, and you can get away with some. You can get away with some holes and stuff with the old concert shirts. This A's sweatshirt's okay. He obviously liked the sports. Took better care of the sporting clothes. Expressions. Rayon. I think you could say that's a wine shirt. This jacket says Bautic. B-A-U-T-I-C. Country Club. And it's really, it's a heavy jacket. It's nice. Oh, there's something in the pocket here. We got something in the pocket. What do we got? Some gloves. Okay, gloves. And a nice little beanie cap. Oh, Raiders. That's cool. Hmm. That's really cool, actually. You didn't see that. You didn't see me keep that. Raiders. That's old. Dang, that's actually really cool looking. Large. Long gone, it says. That is really, really cool. Huh. Team of the decades. All right, Tim Brown. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Extra large. That would fit me. You know, that would fit me. It really would. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you didn't see that. Okay, this, this is garbage. All right, well, I'm gonna say that's gonna do it for today. It's actually starting to get a little dim. You know, the sun's gonna set, set pretty soon. So that's a good time to wrap it up. Found some good stuff today. The baseball cards, okay, that was the best day of baseball cards so far. Um, and we got through, we got through a pretty big stack of boxes that were right here, and quite frankly, we've got a lot more, but every time I get a little bit through it, I'm like a little sad too that I'm that much closer to finishing. I don't want this one to finish. I want this one to keep going. It's so good. So good. Who knows what I'm going to find in here? And you know what? Let's not forget, I found a gun safe in the very beginning. I didn't see it when I bid on it. I bought it without knowing it was there. And it was right there inside the doorway. We've got that gun safe, and it's heavy. And I, we're saving it for last. That's all I'm going to say. We're saving it for last, but we still got that to go as well. So, hey, I said it before. I'll say it again. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. All right, hit the bell notification so you'll be alerted when future videos come out. I'm trying to build our subscriber base. I'd really appreciate it if you guys are part of the LockerNet uh, viewership. All right, and hit the thumbs up if you liked what you saw. And uh, let's see. Let's wait for that plane to fly by. We're right by the airport. Uh, in the morning, they're going that way. And in the evening, they're going that way, landing. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys so much for being here and watching the video and going on this adventure with me. I just said adventure, didn't I? Uh, all right, there it is. Indiana Jones hat. <laughs> and now I'm going to dinner with Jana. She's going to be like, what is all that crud in your hair? She doesn't say crud, but you know, she'll say... What's in your hair? <laughs> eh. It's Indiana Jones dust. Honey, don't you understand? Thanks you guys for watching. All right, until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locking Nuts.